What's good? We're here with part two of the Q&A. Uh, my baby's in the background. You're going to have to just deal with that because um, she just woke up. So let's do part two. I had to take a minute for part two just because some of these questions are doozy. Uh, I don't want to waste much time with the intro. So let's get right into it because some of these questions are big. So I don't think we're gonna need part three, but if this video gets too long, I'm definitely gonna do part three. So get ready. Let's see if there's gonna be a part three or not. First question up, Lauren again. What got you into gaming? Easy, 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 easy. Um, what got me into gaming was, I happened to have a Super Nintendo and still got it. Um, and I was playing Mario all the time. I could never beat it. My uncle came over from Texas. Shout out to him. And he ended up beating my game within like two weeks. And I'm like, as a kid, I'm like, bro, nah, 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 nah. That's when my competitive spirit came out. And I had to show him up too. That was harder than I thought. However, that's when I got into gaming. Um... That my dad kind of got me into it by playing techno football. Don't know if you guys know what that is. I started playing that. And then eventually they allowed me to play the PlayStation 1. Which I still have that as well. Um, I played that for a good bit. Um, and then yeah. I just My love for gaming just came from a young age. From PlayStation. Uh, Super Nintendo. GameCube. Stuff like that. Got into it. And now I just. I'm over here with a pretty expensive setup that I barely even use um but I love it I don't regret my decisions on my expensive setup um makes it look cool that's all I care about it's for me um and now here's a doozy of a question and it's from one of my best friends Adam um and I didn't get to Adam's questions in the first half so I want to apologize Adam um but you ask really big questions, so part two is where they come in handy. Um, if you could freeze time at a certain age or year, when would you and why? Dude, what a fucking question. I absolutely love it, and I thought about it for like a week. Um, if I could freeze time, like age or time, I'm going to have to go with age, honestly. I'm going to have to go with age, and I'll have to do like age, oh man. Now this is gonna be like a uh, harder, cause I'm still been thinking about it. It's gonna have to be between 27 and 30. I'm not 30 yet, but it's gonna have to be between those ages. And I want to say 28 sounds like a good. I like uh, even numbers. I don't like odds, so I'm gonna have to go with 28 or 30. Um, I'm not 30 yet, so I can't tell you if it's exactly gonna be 30. But the reason I say 28 is because. Between, in my personal opinion, between 25 and 30 is your prime. 25, give or take. You want a couple years to stay in your prime. So I'm going to go with 28 for sure. Obviously, you don't want to go under 21. Got to buy some beer for myself. Um, I do like my beer. So it's got to be 28 because you're in your prime, in my personal opinion. Um, and why would I do that? Um, number one reason, you are in your prime. Like... I think they, they always say, like, 20s is your prime. I'm going to have to accept the fact that I am going to decline that. I think 30s is technically your prime. So anywhere close to 30, I'm going to say is prime. So 28 for me is prime. And I'm 29 now. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go with 28. Um, another reason why I have to go with 28 is because... You're starting to settle in a little bit. Um, a year's not long, but two years gets longer. I don't know how to describe it, but I tell you, like, there's a couple years in my life which everything's a blur. Um, so, yeah, pretty much. And there she goes bouncing. You guys can hear that. I'm sorry. Um, oh, I shut that off. Um, but, yeah, for me, 28 is your prime. Got just... I don't know. That's just my answer. 28 prime. You're in good health, hopefully. Um, your body should be pretty well set to where you're not going to grow no more. You you can learn still. You're not sluggish or you shouldn't be. 
I mean, sometimes I've been sluggish, but you know, that does come with age. Um, <laughs> that's that's the best I got, Adam. That's the best I got. How long has CG been a team? Um, I actually had to look this up because I made it official on I want to say 2019, January 27th, if I remember when I looked it up. Um, so yeah. We started, what is it, one, two, three, about four years ago, maybe a little little longer. Um, if you go back to Sector 7, then we've been a team for a very long time. Um, I couldn't, again, I can't even tell you how long that, that was. But yeah, we've been a team for about four years total. Um, I'm actually not even sure how many members we still got. I know some's left, some's definitely got kicked out. Um, we ain't going to go there. Um, the next question from Lauren. That one there was from Jack. Uh, next question we got from Lauren again. Where and how did you meet and fall in love with your wife? Well, that's kind of a short, sweet question. Um, pretty much met her. Well, I knew her since high school, more or less. Um, I didn't really know about her in middle school if we was even in middle school together. Um, but I knew about her in high school. I didn't really talk to her at all through high school. Um, she hung out with a weird group of people. I hung out with a weirder group of people. Um, all fun and games, though. Just joking. Um, more or less, she posted uh, a Facebook post on this skyline. And me and this guy kind of got an argument on her post about what RHD means. Which means right-hand drive, not rear-wheel drive. And that's what we got into a discussion about. And I messaged her, said sorry about arguing on your post. And then more or less one thing led to the next. So hung out, gave it a chance. There it was. Um, Nando asked, where is your dream vacation home and why there? My dream vacation home is Tennessee. Gatlinburg, Tennessee. The place down there is so fucking beautiful. Excuse my language. I just have to say it like that because it is gorgeous down there. Um, and if it can't be Tennessee or if I have enough money, it's 100% going to be one hundred going to be Scotland. Scotland made any place I've visited over here and I've traveled, I don't want to say a lot, but I traveled decently. Scotland was just unbelievably beautiful. Like the scenery there was unmatched so if it ain't tennessee it's scotland um and pretty much same reason i don't like i don't like the ocean i think it's boring the mountains for me is where i want to be so scotland tennessee mountains beautiful any plans for more children questions from jack i don't have plans but let's just say we won't be unprepared. Um, so, fun fact about myself, and again, I'm going to make this a little longer than it should be. I just like rambling. I like talking. Um, Cadence was technically planned. And unplanned at the same time. Because I told her I want to get my... Hey! You! <laughs> So I pretty much told her I wanted to get a house before I had a kid. And well, it literally turned out exactly the way we planned it. We moved out of my apartment. We got a car, vehicle. And then here comes along Lil C. So yeah, I mean, that there was pretty well planned. It was a surprise still because, you know, we've been together for a while. So <laughs> yeah, um, not in the plans but if it happens it happens you know whatever god decides when are you upgrading that beauty of a bar nando great question love that question i am actually slowly upgrading it as i'm making this video um there should be a house vlog coming up here in the next future um i actually have my projector screen up i gotta mount the projector yet um, I did move the weight bars and stuff, like the weight benches over, so that one's a little bit figured out. Uh, move the dryer, that extra dryer out, so yeah, it's slowly coming together. The bar itself probably isn't going to get an upgrade yet, 
Um, the only thing it's going to get upgraded is probably stools and that bench I've made. I want to make sure I can get someone in here to put a cushion on top, make it like a cool little bench with a cushion on top because no one wants to sit on the wood. But, you know, it happens. You know, it's a bar. I'm making it as cheap as possible, so. Okay, now these next couple questions are going to get deep. So hang in there with me. I'm probably might have to do a part three here soon. Um, we're already at 10 minutes. Um, what is something in the world that shouldn't exist and why? Adam, another doozy of a question. And this part will be the last question. So I'm sorry. There will be a part three to this because it's huge. Angelo did ask me a question. Um, so maybe I'll do his for part two. Uh, so let's repeat that. What is something in the world that shouldn't exist and why? Um, dude, this one's huge. Like, it's so hard to actually answer this one. So I'm going to do the best I can. Um, I thought about this for a good couple days, honestly. Um, I came up with like two answers. One realistically, one unrealistically. So let's do unrealistically first. Egos. Like, if you could get rid of, like, people's egos, like, you know, ha ha, I'm better than you type deal. Like, if you, if that could never exist in the world, dude, we'd help. People would help each other so, so much more because their ego wouldn't get in the way. Um, so that's like an unrealistically one because you're that's you know human interaction, human feeling. You're not going to get rid of that. So that was one of my top answers. But my number one top answer, and I thought about this for a good minute, has to be social media. Not all social media, just some social media, because without like some of the social media that we have we would probably interact with each other a lot better. There'd be less uh, less problems with relationships. Um, you know, the good old have to come over and talk to you type stuff. Like, I don't know, there's, with social media, there's so much, there's no boundaries now with social media. And it's just, <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't, my daughter. Uh, it's just, you know what I mean? Like. With social media, there's so much, there's no boundaries. It's, it's endless. So, like, I don't know. I just feel like if we had less social media in the world, the world would probably get along better. But also, with the downfall of that, then, you know, real news won't get out either. You know, like, there is fake news. I mean, let's just be real. There is fake news. So, yeah, my number one answer would have to be, like, social media. Um... And if I think of a better question or like better answer to that, I'll, I'll for sure answer that on part three. But like, it's just, that's just a hard question. Um, and like I said, I'll get to Angelo's question now. I'll have a couple more for part three. Um, how do you get over a situation without using accountability as a punishment? Dude, what a question. What a question. How do you get over a situation without using accountability as a punishment? Um, that one's tough because it's you more or less have to... You more or less just have to get over the situation. Whatever situation you're in, you're going to have to take a little bit of accountability for it because... There's always two sides, you know, there's always two sides. So it's it's kind of hard not to take accountability for it. Um, so to take less accountability for it as a punishment, you just have to, and it's it, like I said, this is a hard question to answer. You're just gonna have to like stiffen up your shoulders a little bit. You know, you're gonna have to carry that weight for just a little longer because time Time really does heal everything. That is a promise. Um, without taking accountability for it, you're, you're literally just going to have to tough it up. Toughen it out. Not tough it up, but like toughen it out. Um, you have to just 
focus on yourself, focus on what your future is, you know, think ahead, you know, stuff like that. You, you can't look back on it. If you're going to try to take accountability as a punishment for it, the best thing you can do is literally look forwards. You have to, as Eminem would say, t toughen that up or lip. I mean, you're just going to have to focus on yourself more, focus on your, your career, if that's a possibility. If you have a career, um, focus on your family, your friends, you know, stuff like that. Just keep your mind off of it, push forwards. And I mean, that's the best way I can describe that. Um, because I, I don't like using the word punishment um, because it should be lesson. Um, at the end of the day, something happens, it's always a lesson. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what it is, it's always a lesson. Um, that one's a little bit deeper of a question, but that's the best way I can answer is you're just going to have to look out for yourself, look out for your future. That's your number one thing to do. Look out for your future. Um, with, that, with looking at yourself, that's looking out for your future. So your number one thing is look for your future. Pay attention. Just stay focused. And that's that's kind of why I'm going to use myself as an example. It's kind of why I quit, like, drinking as much as I have because, you know, I want to <laughs> I wanna be there for my daughter. I'm looking out for my future. So, yeah, sometimes you just got to kind of forgive and forget forgive yourself for putting yourself in that situation forgive that person for putting you in that situation if you believe that and then you just got to forget the whole situation move forwards um and actually i'll tell you what that's one reason why i wear this cross um i don't know if the camera can see it here i wear this cross um i went to church after i got divorced with my first wife um and they said to always forgive but never forget because God don't want you to go back to where you came from. So that's that's what I can give you. Always forgive but never forget because God don't want you to go back to that situation. So that's what I can give you for that. Uh, hopefully that answers your question. Um, other than that, um, there will be a part three. I have two questions for part three. So part three will be a little later. I'm going to need a little bit more questions, guys. Um, I got Jack and Mike up next. Um, so sorry guys, it's just too long of a video. I got to do a part three. Um, so yeah, hope you guys can give me more questions for part three. Um, I love you guys as always. Peace out and I'll see you in the next video.